Alright, hello and welcome, Farns Can fans, to Volume 3 of our weekly review segment. This is a weekly segment uh, for the channel and brand as we recap our successes and failures. As uh, me, myself, LT Farns, and producer SVC break our way into the gaming and entertainment uh, industry. A pretty big milestone for the brand this week. We hit about 100 followers on Twitter, um, which isn't bad considering uh, we're just wrapping up our second week. Some of our biggest challenges, um, again, has proven to be this weekly segment. Uh, last week's weekly segment, we actually picked up uh, a third member to our team, uh, Boris Pavlov, our comrade from across the pond, who actually bailed uh, after he saw what a shitstorm fiasco uh, episode 2 proved to be. We just faced a slew of audio and technical challenges um, that we're still even this week trying to comb over, but in order to maintain uh, deadlines and... Um, deliver this weekly vlog uh, on schedule, we are uh, pressing ahead here. Uh, one success for the brand over the past week was we did uh, hit 100 followers on Twitter, which was pretty huge. I think around day 11 or uh, 12 uh, was when we got the notification. So SVC, go ahead and uh, throw the Twitter uh, info up on the screen here for the fans. Can I read you? Yep, 100 flat, so be sure to follow us there on the Twitter machine and uh, any of the other big social media networks, we're going to be on there, so uh, be sure to check us out there. Uh, you'll notice the game of the week this week uh, is Claire by Hailstorm Games. Uh, Hailstorm Games is actually a small, uh, I think it's only three or four people, uh, indie game company located out of Plano, Texas. I actually do not have too much information uh, regarding this development company, uh, but regardless, uh, Claire is a 2D, uh, kind of 8-bit uh, horror-themed side-scrolling video game. Uh, at this point, we, we really aren't too invested in the story or the character. Uh, the main reason this channel picked it up was uh, for world record purposes only. Uh, our main goal with this game is that uh, uh, to just play it until we're the fastest ones on Earth playing this game. Uh, I do anticipate in the next week or so, uh, LT Farns will have a, a world record speed run for this title. Uh, we have hit a, a surge in fan comments and submissions, sort of questioning the validity of SVC here. Uh, as our, uh, uh, well, as the Farns cast's uh, primary producer. As I mentioned earlier, Boris uh, Pavlov did leave the show last episode, and um, that was our first episode uh, debuting our viewing tank. Um, a lot of fans seem to think that SVC is just the culmination of uh, sound bites that I sprinkle into the show, but um, uh, he's actually uh, uh, both a top notch uh, producer, a friend, and um, uh, once he got word that Boris had left and that. Uh, our show may be without a viewing tank, he went into, uh, as he does so often, super producer mode uh, and just started crafting away um, a new uh, viewing chamber for us to uh, integrate into the show. I think from here on out we're just going to be referring to it as the Farns Cam. Um, and uh, what he didn't know was I was actually sneaking footage of him as he was crafting this thing up. So let's go ahead and play that uh, for the fans just so we can uh, set the record straight that uh, SVC is here, and he's uh, he's working his butt off, so... Uh, yeah, SVC, go ahead and uh, uh, run clip two. Yes, sir? Orders, Captain? I read you. Reporting for duty. Affirmative. Roger that. Right away, sir. Orders received. Job finished. SCP good to go, sir. I can't build it. Something's in the way. Another important item I'd like to point out is that uh, from here on out, this weekly review segment will officially be releasing under the uh, title Farnscast. After sitting down earlier in the week with SVC talking it over, uh, we came to the conclusion that uh, the live weekly status update was just too long of a title for our fans to digest. So uh, just be aware that um, for here on out, uh, we're going to be releasing under Farnscast. Uh, and this is Farnscast Volume 3. So thank you again all for joining us. Um, I do want to take a moment to say that uh, the fan outreach this week has honestly hit a maximum. We've had tons of comments, uh, letters, and content submissions uh, coming in. Unfortunately, uh, we would like to release uh, or integrate all of them uh, that you guys submit into the show, but 
due to time, there's just no way we can get to all of them. Uh, one uh, fan submitted uh, proposal that we received this week was actually pretty breathtaking. I haven't viewed the the video yet, but uh, let me let me read the letter to you guys, and then I think we're gonna play the video uh, just to test out the new uh, Farns Cam portion of the show. Dear LT Farns, I came across one of your weekly segments on a YouTube recommended playlist the other day, and I must say that viewing your work has really inspired me. I really dig your positive energy and upbeat attitude. I too specialize in content creation and my topic of choice typically revolves around food and reviews of it. Set before you, please find attached a food review that I consider a culmination of your show's inspirations. I have done many food reviews throughout the years and at this point I can honestly say that this is one of my most valued works. It is my masterpiece, my magnus opus, my chef Duvray. Sincerely, Content Cop. Uh, well, Content Cop, uh... I must say that I am deeply, deeply flattered, but unfortunately I have not yet had a chance to see it. I do know SVC has screened it, so let's go ahead and throw it up on the Farns cam. Uh I read you? Snack Nubs here back again with another legit food review. Today we're going to eat some uh, s and peaches. Ooh! You bite the peach, the peach bites back. Um, I do think this content cop may be trolling us, SVC, uh, especially with this one, but, uh, you know what, here on the Farns cast, we never burn a bridge, so we got plenty of room for trolls, too. Please remember, uh, for anyone out there listening, watching, viewing, uh, if you have content questions or comments you'd like to see featured on the show, be sure to drop us a line at LT Farns on any of our social media sites, or head directly, uh, right to the source at, uh, ltfarns.com. Alright, turning the attention to our special guest of the week, ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause for the Canadian himself, Mr. Seth Rogen. Great to be here, thank you. Seth, my longtime friend, thank you so much for joining us on the Farnscast this week. Uh, we really are uh, glad to have you with us, so thank you so much. Now, Seth, you are indeed uh, Canadian, is that correct? I am Canadian. Anywhere specifically, or...? Yeah, I'm from Vancouver, British Columbia. Right on, right on. I think last time we talked to you, you had actually just wrapped up filming on Superbad, but tonight on Farnscast, I actually wanted to focus in on the series that sort of launched it all for you, uh, Freaks and Geeks. As you know, Farnscast is barely entering its third week on the air, and I sort of wanted to pick your brain and maybe get the POV perspective on what it was like being so young and just starting out on what was essentially an unheard of TV show at the time. It was really, I mean, I was pretty much the age I was playing, which is, I think I was the only one who was the age they were playing, maybe. Maybe John Daly, the main guy, was. The other geeks, Sam and Martin, are both my age, so they were playing guys who were younger than they are. The other freaks, Franco and Jason and Linda, were older. It was weird because I was in high, I kind of went to like a real high, from a real high school to like a fake high school, which was kind of bizarre. Honestly, at the time, I don't think any of us could quite appreciate how good it was because none of us had really done anything else before it. And so we kind of just thought that's how it was. We we're like, oh wow, you do a TV show and it's fucking awesome. <laughs> and like, it turns out great. And then no one watches it and it gets canceled. And that was very frustrating, I remember. We joke about it all the time, like, because our ratings were just bad. Like, we'd air, and it's, that's like what's hard about working in television, is like, you film the show for a few months and then it starts to air. And you are still filming it as it's airing. You're like a few hep episodes ahead of where it's airing. And literally it airs, and you know that it got shitty ratings, which means there's a good chance it's gonna get fucking canceled. And you still, and you literally go to work the next day mm -hmm. and have to like, everyone has to like commiserate. Like, yeah, did you see the ratings? Like, oof, like fucking sucks. Like, hope they keep us going. And then like, the next week happens and it's like, oh, the ratings are worse this week. And then it's like, oh, like they're not even airing us next week. Oh, now, now we're on a new night. They're putting us on a new night from now on. And the meanwhile, you're just making the show the whole time. And and so what could happen is you could literally show up one day and they're like, it's done. Like you could, like it could just happen in the middle of an episode. Like you are, you literally show up to work and there's, and they're like, nope, it's fucking over. The show's canceled now. And like, that's what happens. And so 
that's kind of looming over your head, and so that sucked. Man, I hear that. Uh, well, brother, I'd be lying if I said we didn't share the same uh, feelings here on Farnscast some days. Thank you again so much for taking your time to stop in tonight, and we will definitely want to catch up again sometime. Thank you. Thank you. Right now, I, I feel fantastic. That was a great All right, ladies and gentlemen, that about wraps it up for tonight's show. I hope to see everyone again next week. Uh, and until then, game on. <laughs>